Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm doing a comparison video of the Yada Savings Account and the Prize Pool Savings Account. So, if you're not familiar, Yada and Prize Pool are two different app based savings accounts that you can sign up for, and they both offer a lottery like experience as far as giving you additional opportunities to make more money in your savings account. Now, they both provide their own normal base rate savings account, which I'll get into later in this video. But the main point of these savings accounts versus your traditional savings account with, let's say, a bigger bank like Bank of America, Chase, etc., is that you can win prizes. And so essentially, with both of the accounts, the basics are that you put money in your savings account, you receive tickets to where those tickets could then potentially win prizes. They give you additional money on top of the base savings rate that they offer for their accounts. And so if you've ever heard of one of them, you've probably heard of the other. If you've never heard of either of them, make sure you check out my review videos of Prize Pool. I have a separate video where I talk about the different features of the Prize Pool savings account, how it works, as well as the Yada savings account. So you can look at those individually. And in this video, I'm basically gonna talk about which one is better, compare each different feature that you know one may have that the other one doesn't have, or the features that both of them have and which one m might be the better option for you if you were to only to select one. Of course, you can choose to use both, but if you just want to open one savings account and you're tr choosing between these two, since they're both lottery-like prize-linked savings accounts, then check out this video and you'll learn more about which may be better depending on the different features. And so the first feature I'm gonna talk about, of course, is the base savings rate. And so just like any other savings account, you put money into these accounts and there's a certain percentage that you'll receive as a return over the course of a year. And that's your interest rate. And so with the Yada savings account, the interest rate for the account is 0.20% versus the prize pool savings account is 0.30%. And so obviously prize pool gives you a better base savings rate. And so based on that, if you were to only look at the base savings rate, prize pool savings account would be the best option at this time. Now that base savings rate is subject to change. It could change at any time. It could change based on either the company deciding that they wanna increase or decrease the base savings rate. Now, of course, when the uh, Federal Reserve increases the, sa the interest rates, that can affect whether or not the company may choose to increase or decrease the interest that you receive on your savings account. And that goes for credit cards, that goes for home loans, things of that nature as well. So it's not the only, savings accounts aren't the only things affected by the Federal Reserve's change in interest rates. Now, an additional feature that both Yada and Prize Pool have where you can increase your base savings rate is by using the crypto feature within their apps. So they both offer an option for you to save your money in USDC, which is a cryptocurrency that's based on the US dollar. So it's not actual US dollars, it's a cryptocurrency. And so if you were to choose the crypto option, you can get a higher base rate. However, the savings in USDC, those are not FDIC insured. And so with your base rate, if you're just saving cash, you don't mess with the crypto side, those savings are FDIC insured. And so if something were to happen to Yada or Price Pool, then you're insured that you'll be able to get your money back up to a certain dollar amount, which I believe is $250,000 uh, per account. And so your money's safe. There's no issue if you just use USD cash. If you do use crypto, there is the risk that something could happen in the crypto market and it wouldn't be insured by FDIC insurance. Now, with that said, both Yada and Price Pool, they offer 4% interest rate when you hold your cash and you put it into the crypto side, so it's actually USDC you get an automatic 4% base rate instead of the 0.20% with normal USD cash in the Yada savings account and 0.30% in the prize pool savings account. Now, you would say that this was a tie, but there's actually a difference between the accounts despite them both offering 4% interest rate. And so, like I mentioned, this is a lottery-based savings account. And so based on the amount of money that you put in your account, you receive tickets to where you can win additional prizes. Now, the major difference between Yada and Prize Pool is that Yada, they allow you to get two and a half times more tickets uh, when you hold your cash in USDC in the crypto side. But with Prize Pool, you only get two times the number of tickets. And so there is an increase. Yada gives you more tickets towards the prizes that are offered within their price link savings account. And so I would give the Yada savings account an edge based on the fact that you can earn more tickets. 
when you hold your savings in crypto in the Yada Savings account. Now, the next feature that they both offer is the option to use a debit card with your account. So it's not just a savings account. If you choose, you can also sign up for the debit card for both of these accounts. And with the debit card side, there's a chance that your purchases, your transactions could be reimbursed by Yada and Prizepool. And so with the Yada account, the transaction that you make, you could potentially get reimbursed to up to a $5,000 uh, purchase. So if you buy something and it costs $5,100, only $5,000 of that would get reimbursed. And also for every transaction that you make using the Yada debit card, you receive 10 tickets per dollar that you spend. And so with the Yada savings account, for every $25 that you save, you receive one ticket into the weekly drawings. Um, th the drawings are weekly, and so that ticket continues every week. You don't have to add any additional funds. You always get one ticket for every $25 that you save. And with the reimbursements, there's a one in 200 chance that one of your transactions could reimburse. So if you use your card on a regular basis, if you have more than 200 transactions per month, there's a high chance that at least one of your transactions will be reimbursed over that monthly period uh, based on the odds. Now, it's not a guarantee that if you have 200 transactions that you're going to have a transaction reimbursed, but those are the odds for any transaction to be reimbursed. Now, the odds are actually two times better if you use your debit card at a restaurant. It's a one in 100 chance that your transaction could be reimbursed. And then also, if you use direct deposit, that increases your, your opportunity for reimbursement to one in 100 for all of your purchases if you use direct deposit. Now, when compared to the prize pool savings account, the maximum that you can be reimbursed with prize pool is $2,000 per transaction. And they don't actually mention what the odds are. They don't say whether it's one out of 100, one out of 200. It's just randomly uh, selected for their reimbursement. Could be higher, it could be less. I may have possibly miss, missed it in their terms and conditions. Um, I'll double check it and I'll leave that in the, in the comments below if I can find it. But as far as I can tell, they didn't mention what the exact odds are. It's just randomly selected transactions. Also, if you don't want a debit card, you don't have to get one. As soon as you are approved for the debit card in prize pool, you automatically get the, the card number and all the information that you need to set it up with PayPal or some other online website or to set it up for Google Pay or Apple Pay. And as far as the number of tickets that you earn, you actually earn 30 tickets for every dollar that you spend. So unlike the, the Yada Savings account where you only get one ticket for every $10, you actually get 30 tickets for every dollar. And so depending on which one you think is best, it really actually does depend. Even though you get more tickets, it's not necessarily that it's better. And I'll tell you why later in this video. Yeah, and so for this one, I'd say it's a tie. Uh, depends on which is more important to you. If it's getting a higher uh, dollar amount, potentially being reimbursed is more important, then I would go with the Yada Savings account because it's 5,000 for Yada. Uh, the maximum reimbursement is 2,000 with prize pool. However, with prize pool, you get more tickets for every dollar that you spend compared to the Yada Savings account. So if you would prefer to have more chances at winning a prize, um, then you would wanna go with the prize pool savings account instead. Now, the next feature, which I slightly mentioned in the previous one, would actually be direct deposit. So with the Yada Savings account, there is actually a benefit to using direct deposit. At this moment, prize pool has no uh, specific bonuses or anything like that that deal with direct deposit. So Yada automatically gets to win there. But as far as the specific benefits that you do get for Yada, so I can tell you what those are instead of just saying that it's better because you do get benefits. Uh, when you first set it up, you'll get 20% more tickets than you normally would. So normally it's $25, for every $25, you would get one ticket. That would be increased by 20%. And that would only be for the initial direct deposit. For every future direct deposit, you'll only get 5% more tickets for the future direct deposits. And that's, of course, compared to if you just set up an automatic deposit from another checking account or another savings account going into Yada, you would still only get the one ticket per $25. But if you direct deposited your pay from your job, then that will actually give you more tickets than transferring from one other bank over to Yada. So if you're going to use it, might as well put some level of direct deposit, whether it's your entire paycheck or just the portion that you would have saved anyway by manually transferring or setting up the automatic transfer into your Yada savings account. 
So based on the direct deposit feature, Yada wins because it's the only one that provides some type of bonus at this moment if you use direct deposit. Now, previously in the debit card section, I mentioned that it's kind of a toss up and it really depends on uh, another feature that I will talk about. And that is the max payout. And so although they're both lottery like savings accounts, their payouts or their maximum that you could win, there's a difference between Yada and prize pool. And so with Yada, the maximum you could potentially win every week is $10 million. So it is more like a traditional lottery. It's kind of just like a uh, Powerball, if you've ever played that in lottery. You know, you have six balls that you choose from, there's five regular balls, and then there's the Powerball, or in this case, they call it the Yada ball, where that specific ball is different from all of the other numbers. And so if, let's say your Yada ball was eight, if you got eight in one of the other five balls, it wouldn't count towards your Yada ball. That specific ball have, have to be a number eight in order for you to get a benefit or get that number selected and for it to count towards the prize. But because it is more like an actual lottery, the odds of you winning that maximum prize are very slim. But the odds of you winning one of the smaller prizes, especially the more money that you actually have saved in your account, it is increased because you could make multiple tickets with different numbers. And I actually have a strategy, uh, a video that I created going over a strategy that you can use to actually increase the chances that you win a prize or any prize. You no, know, it's not gonna increase the chances that you win the maximum payout, but it will increase the chances that you get some level of payout on every ticket, essentially. And so check out that video. I'll have a link uh, probably posted right here. Make sure you check out that video so you can increase the amount of times that you win a prize with the Yada Savings account. And so while the max payout is $10 million, the minimum payout is 10 cents per ticket. And so it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get a minimum of 10 cents. You may not get any of the balls right because again, the numbers have to land in your favor because it is basically just like a lottery. Now, the difference with the prize pool account is one, they don't have a $10 million prize. And then two, you don't have any numbers that you have to choose. So you just get a ticket. It's more like a raffle than a lottery in that sense. So your tickets, there's no specific numbers. You don't have to choose anything. Every ticket you get is just based on the savings account. They all have an equal chance of winning all of the available prizes. But the max payout for the prize pool savings account is that you could win $10,000 during the fourth week of the four week periods that they have. And so each week is not the same. With the Yada Savings account, every week is the same. Every week you have the same odds. The only difference is how many tickets you have based on how much money you save. But with the prize pool savings account, they have a four week period in weeks one through three. The maximum prize that you could win during those weeks is a $500 prize. And then in the fourth week, you have a chance to win a $10,000 prize, which is the maximum. And so while the maximum payout that you could potentially get is significantly lower, there is a guaranteed minimum payout that prize pool is gonna give out every week. And so there's a minimum of $50,000 that's given out during that four week period, no matter what. And so that's gonna be split up between all of the tickets and all of the people that win. There's a guarantee that $50,000 is going to be paid out each month. It's just a matter of who's gonna win it based on the winning ticket uh, getting that prize. And so this will really depend on, do you want the maximum payout? If you want a chance at getting the maximum amount of potential money, then Yada would be the savings account that you would choose. If you want to guarantee that you get some prize and because you're going to get more tickets per dollar, then maybe the prize pool savings account would be the choice for you. So I'm going to say that Yada would have the slight edge just because you could win $10 million if you get every single ball selected. The odds aren't in your favor, but you could also win a Tesla. That's the second highest prize. You can't win a Tesla with the prize pool savings account. And so I'm gonna give it a slight edge to Yada uh, for those reasons. And last but not least, there's one other feature or one other option that you can sign up for. There's currently a wait list for it, which is a credit card option. So right now, only Yada has the option for you to sign up for a credit card with their account. There's no credit check, there's no interest, there are no fees. And when you spend using the Yada credit card, you actually get one ticket for every $5 that you spend. And so instead of $25 for every dollar that you save with the Yada savings account, or one ticket for every $10 that you spend when you use the debit card, if you sign up for their credit card, 
you'll get one ticket for every five dollars that you spend so it's get it gets better and better as far as the amount of tickets that you earn uh, when you start with the savings account going to the debit card and then going to the credit card price pool currently doesn't have a credit card offering and so by default yada would win for that specific feature if you're a person that wants to use a credit card all right so out of the six features that i mentioned during this video you have the base savings rate you have the debit card you have the crypto option you have direct deposit you have the option for using a credit card and then also you have the max payout that you can get between these two accounts out of those six yada has the edge with four of those being chosen where yada seems to have the slightly better feature than prize pool but the main two that prize pool offers that may be more beneficial or you know maybe something that you want to choose instead of yada would be the fact that their base savings rate is higher and you earn more tickets per dollar and you also have more of a guaranteed payout because you know that prize pool is giving away fifty thousand dollars every month with the yada account although it does have that max payout of ten million dollars there's no guarantee and the odds of you winning the max payout is very slim and so even though i picked yada based on those six features it's it's winning four out of those six that i mentioned it really depends on what you think is best if you don't care about cryptocurrency you don't even have to consider those and so that's one that would be taken away from yada if you're not going to use direct deposit again that won't matter either and so now it's down it's a tie it's two two and then it really depends on do you want the chance at a guaranteed fifty thousand dollars where you could have more of that chunk or the totally random you have to hit the specific numbers just like with a normal lottery uh with the yada savings account but you have that opportunity to win 10 million dollars it's really up to you choose which one you think is best or you don't even have to choose you can use both accounts and so instead of guessing to see which one would actually be the better account what i'm actually doing is starting on july 15th i set up both accounts to where they had exactly $500 in both of the accounts. And I'm gonna to track to see over the course of the rest of this year, which account actually earned me more money. So there's the base savings rate that's gonna be automatically earned. But of course there are then the prizes that you can earn based on the tickets that you have in each savings account. And I'm gonna compare that. I'm gonna share that on my Instagram uh, at AJ Mobile Money. I'm also gonna share some updates uh, towards the end of the year maybe a couple of months down the road just to see which one has performed best uh, over the last couple of months. And so once I have those updates, I'll share those with you. Now, if you want a deeper dive into reviewing each of the individual savings accounts, as well as the debit card accounts for both Yada and Prize Pool, I have a review of both the savings and the debit card side for both Yada and Prize Pool. So make sure you check those out. Now, if you've already used Yada or if you've already used Prize Pool, let us know what you think about the accounts in the comments below. Uh, also, if you've used both, let us know which one has performed the best for you. And if you've never heard of either one of them, and this is a savings account you're looking to try out, I have referral links provided below in the description. There are bonuses for using a referral link versus just signing up on your own. So make sure you use my referral links for both Yada and the Price Pool account, which will be provided in the description below. All right, so thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not already a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.